game books may be a niche market from decades past, but it's amazing how many people have fond memories of them. Relying on people's nostalgia for the 80s has worked well for many gamebook publishers, and now Joe Dever, author of the infamous Lone Wolf series, has thrown his hat into the ring with a new four-part saga. However, with the release of Steve Jackson's excellent Sorcery series earlier this year, Lone Wolf has its work cut out for it. It's an interesting take on the genre, but one which creates as many problems as it solves. You start your adventure by picking the traits and abilities your character will have. Every time there's a choice to be made, a seal will appear, taking you to a separate page where three choices await you. Usually, one or two of the choices will be greyed out. The choices left available will depend on which attributes you selected for your character. Do you approach problems with caution, or are you the kick down the door type? Do you have psychic powers or enhanced strength? As they say, all roads lead to Rome, and there is no wrong answer. The character sheet is available at all times, allowing you to access your inventory, journal, and skills. These screens are a little cluttered and obtuse though, so we spent as little time in the menus as possible. Beyond the storytelling and decision making, the actual meat of the game is the combat. Like Sorcery, Lone Wolf does its best to make combat more interesting than just rolling a few animated dice. Unlike Sorcery though, the Lone Wolf team has attempted to integrate a full 3D combat system, with options of magic, melee and ranged attacks. Potions are also available to heal your wounds or boost your stamina. Stamina recharges over time, but is also crucial for parrying and negating incoming attacks. Most of your attacks are linked to a quick time event that either has you tapping in time to on-screen prompt, swiping in a particular direction, or mashing the screen to build up energy. While most of the systems work, the quick time events demand a lot of precision. And as any fault will instantly negate your attack or defense, combat quickly becomes a bit of a pain. This becomes a problem, as the combat system is where you spend most of your time outside of the narrative. Because of this, the irritation it causes begins to sour the whole experience. Those who really love their game books or enjoy a good fantasy yarn may be able to look past the combat issues and enjoy the story on its own terms. Everyone else will probably find Lone Wolf's annoying quick time events a deal breaker though. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.